Page 2 Dramatic shows that have any number of good guys require guest stars to keep going. Unless the creators of Law Order want every plot to be iced he was the killer all along, but we forgave him, because all oh, just look at him, they need new talent to fill out the ranks of serial killers, pedophiles, and bartenders who just might have seen someone who looks like that. But this necessity has created a painfully obvious trend. Whenever a big name shows up in a series, they're going to be doing big name stuff. And apparently, big name stuff always involves ruining the surprise. I've talked about Dexter in a few columns because, really, I'm still coming to terms with it. You devote eight years of your life to a show, and then it ends with the plot equivalent of a drunk pissing on your head from a third story balcony. So you begin to think really hard about whether it was ever that good. And I've come to this conclusion, yeah. It had some really great parts, but man, it had the worst I wonder what this guest star will do poker face in the industry. The first two seasons of Dexter tell a perfectly contained story. And then in season three, Jimmy Smith swaggers in with a kind of it like to get a beer with that guy charisma that only Jimmy Smith's really has. But then Jimmy Smith's turns into evil Jimmy Smith's and Dexter has to kill him. Then John Lithgow shows up in season four, and while Hess great, the pattern is being established. By the time Colin Hanks burst into season 6 with a plotline so terrible that it served as a Dexter is not going to get good again trumpet of the cancellation apocalypse, the standard had been set, if a new dude shows up on Dexter, that dude is almost 100% going to end up as Dexter's table dressing. Obviously, if an established actor shows up on a prestige TV drama, they're going to be given a role with some meat to it. When William Hurt or whoever inevitably shows up on the fifth season of Westworld, they're not going to be given the role of blowjob robot bartender for. They're going to get maniacal Douch who was super integral to the creation of Westworld who we never really discussed before. And them basically spelling out what's going to happen in the rest of the season or episode doesn't stop them from giving a knockout performance. It just momentarily stops us from getting lost in the show. It's also admitting that we've kind of pigeonholed what we think makes for good guests to worthy roles. Someone with any kind of positive qualities PSSSSH. Demented men child, that makes tiny doll furniture out of his victim's toenails you can basically smell the Emmys on that one. Having a sense of self-awareness can be helpful. It's what prevents you from deciding that your show about six friends who live in New York City is a fresh idea, and it gives you a moment of hesitation when you think a guy named Harry meets a girl named Sally. How has no one come up with that?